Hey, it's Rachel from Blogging Concentrated. One of the things I get asked often because I make a lot of graphics is how to isolate colors or determine colors that other websites are using. There's a really easy tool that you can utilize, but you have to be using Chrome. So once you're in Chrome, what you need to do is you can just search or go to the Chrome web store. I just searched Chrome Color Dropper, and then it will pull up the Chrome web store. So if you click it, and then the eyedropper function comes up. So this is an extension that Chrome offers uh, the users of their site. So what you need to do then is add this to Chrome. And if you don't know about all the extensions that you have already, you can click on this icon here, and then what you want to do is scroll down to Tools and Extensions, and then at that point it will list all the different extensions that you've utilized. So right here I've used the eyedropper and I've enabled it. And it shows up in my top right corner, which is awesome because I don't want to have to search for it every time. If we were to make a graphic for Blogging Concentrated or a new graphic, Let's just go to this page, back to the Blogging Concentrated page, click on the eyedropper tool, and then you'd click pick a color from the web page. Once you've clicked it, wherever your arrow goes, it isolates the colors that are behind it. So as this is moving around, you can see in the bottom left corner all the different colors are being isolated. If we wanted to make a graphic and I wanted purple, and I wanted to use the purple from her dress, I would hover over it, click it, and then the color dropper here tool, it changes to reflect the color that was behind that, or it isolates the color in her dress. At this point, what you need to do is just use the different codes to help you determine and make your graphic. I always use this top left code, so what we want to do is highlight this, and then go into PicMonkey, or wherever you're doing your graphic design, and then type in whatever text, so we're going to type in this is cool, and then instead of having it as this color, the black that's there, or trying to determine by just hovering over the options on PicMonkey, what you can do is highlight the text, and then click this top right corner here where the number and the code is, and paste in the code, and it will change to the exact color of her dress. So now, this is cool, is written in purple. A lot of times if I'm making graphics for even like Blogging Concentrated, instead of looking at my list of code, I'll go back to the site, I'll click on the color picker, pick a color from the web page, hover over where I want the, the color, typically it's this orange and I typically take it right about there, click it, and then the color picker will now reflect the code for that orange. What I would need to do then is highlight the code, go back to PicMonkey, highlight our text, go back to this top corner, paste in the new code, and now This Is Cool is written in the quote-unquote official blogging concentrated orange. This is a great tool. If you're making graphics and you want them to coordinate with your own site, a lot of times I'll go to my site and choose uh, a color that's on my site so that I can make the graphics that have a similar feel uh, to the colors that I've already used. So I can use it for the text or the overlays or whatever you're utilizing it. It's super easy to use, and once you have it, um, I've always been thankful for having that up in the top right corner. I hope this helps and makes things a bit easier.